and the guys them around the fire pit doing their hot dogs over there and uh, this is the bread hot dog area here everybody doing the thing tastes good mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have your oh you see cookies man yeah <laughs> You full now, man? No, you full? I feel slowly getting there, slowly getting there. You get it slowly getting there? Yeah. How about you? I full, man. I full, I full. Nothing doesn't take much, though. Still does. <laughs> so you have your hot chocolate, hot chocolate. Uh -huh. And coffee. Uh -huh, okay. So you got hot, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, and mix on the coffee. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I remember back in the days, Joker and I was like, when I used to go back in the day, uh huh. Not just meet a chick, say, what's your name? Say, a big D. I said, what? I don't know. So, where is hot water? Um, or, there's no hot water. Maybe that one? No. Okay. No. no? The first three is hot chocolate and then all the Oh, that's milk. Coffee. Oh, and coffee and milk. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So this is this is this is it, man. Nice. Ooh. Oh, these ones big, yeah. Holy crap! Wow. <laughs> that's a that's a big hot dog. That's a weenie. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. What? The dog is biting you? <laughs> the dog is biting me. You got any problem with the dog? We need more bread. Need more bread? We need, not me. <laughs> I thought you need my bread. No, no, no. no. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. We. Okay. Need. Okay. We. Yes. we need more bread. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. We. I, I think you have to rephrase that question there again. You know? That's all. Relish. Is it really good? This relish. Relish. I never tried. You, know? you never try it? Try it. Try it. Try it. Cucumber pickle. They're really good. It's really good. Because I know I don't like, you know, master. Yeah. But it's, it's not the same as this one. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Different, that's, different. that's different. Okay. Different. Man, taste it first now. <laughs> right? <laughs> I may not like it. <laughs> taste it first. It's good. It's good. All right. <laughs> now he's... <laughs> It's gone now. <laughs> yeah. You're not drinking from the bottle, are you? No, I'm not drinking from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so we here at, that, <laughs> at the um, <laughs> men retreat here. It just means that the back to your best fellow keeper. They were like, tear one little bit and then yeah. go on to the next. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to try both hot chocolate? You know, I tried the mocha before. I tried the mocha is really good though. Oh, okay. If it's done nicely, it's mm. not too sweet or not too underdone, but nicely done, then put the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Perfect, man. Nobody has oh. their own. Also, oh, you mix the hot chocolate and the coffee too. You mix mocha. Oh. Okay. You hear that? Mm? You can mix the hot chocolate and the coffee together, and you got mocha. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Have a different flavor. A different flavor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh boy, I'm an old-time Adventist. I don't, eat, I don't drink coffee. No? <laughs> which, which, which country from? Huh? Which country from? St. Vincent. And the Grenadines. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Uh, you never told me that earlier. You're from Vincent, but you're missing all the Grenadines. Yeah. I'm from Haiti. You're from yeah, Haiti? Like the same in the Caribbean. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so we got a brother from Haiti here, and your name is what? Greg. Greg. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I see it. I see it. Mm. Oh, Gregory. Yeah. We we we'll stick it, Greg. We okay. <laughs> you see? How long have you been in this so, country? So we got the Black Brothers here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Black Brothers. How long have you been in this country? 
He's asking me the same question, eh? How long have you been living in Canada? In, in Canada? <laughs> Maybe 23 years. Holy cow, holy shoot. just three more years, three more years. Yeah, maybe 23 or 24. Wow. Who knows? How about you, Greg? I can't come. Since 2007, that's uh, 16 years. 16? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. for me, I said, years. you know, so crazy. For me, I thought, you know, I was going to live here for six months and bounce, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel what's going on in my country. I, I, guess, I guess this guy here make you stay. <laughs> <laughs> you sure he's not the one who make you stay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He give you such a nice hot dog, he make you stay, man. Yeah. <laughs> I feel what's going on in my country, man. Like, hey. <laughs> Haiti man is, is going down. I don't know if you knew the okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The crazy thing is, back home, uh -huh. all of our country is too dirty, all of our country, but the stupid shit that happens inside the country mm -hmm. against each other is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Jamaica, yeah, we love, I love Jamaica to death, but mm -hmm. so certain things things there. Things that happen down there. Yeah, it's like, it's stupid, but okay. still, that's mm -hmm. my hometown. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is a heart here, you know? Mm -hmm. Careful, kid. Don't eat too many tomatoes, man. <laughs> I don't want. I, 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 I don't want your bones them to be too much acid inside them, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she was from Haiti. Oh. Yeah. Scovia was her name. Okay. Yeah, Which church she go to? Which is she Up north. Oh yeah. no. <coughs> she even spent a she spent a whole winter in in Newbank. Oh wow. Yeah, which is it's just about as far north as you can go. Yeah. <laughs> well, she can go further if you want. No. End up well, in. <laughs> you can go to Tuk Tuk Tuk. Yeah. But otherwise, Russia's uh, yeah. <laughs> Russia's right across the uh, right. From here. <laughs> well, no. Then you go into Russia. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So, good. Good. I don't know. She spent the whole uh, in Ubik, mm. You have about two hours of daylight. Yeah, yeah. Every day, you know, wow. in the winter time. So uh, two yeah. hours. <laughs> you, you could imagine that yeah. two hours of oh. daylight. I can't know how to live with that one. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. Two hours of daylight. That's a tough one. Yeah. Oi, what are you drinking now? Muck? <laughs> this guy, he mixing the, the chocolate and the coffee together and he, he call it oh, muck. Yeah. muck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mocha. Mocha? Mocha. Oh. <laughs> What's the meaning of mocha? <laughs> mocha. Yes, hot chocolate and coffee. coffee. Hot chocolate and coffee. Do you know about that until a couple years ago? So I'm like, oh. Oh. If you watch on the, 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 the program on the, Ethiopia. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, and they call it the death road. You know, oh, the, yeah, 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 trains, yeah, yeah. The trains over there are still the old narrow gauge train tracks and the engines are, they said what year, and I don't remember mm -hmm. what year the engines were, but uh, go down the track and they got, you know, I think they about 300 people on that goofy train. <laughs> and uh, out through the desert and the uh, old train overheats and turbo turbo went on it and mm. they got no phones to call for help or nothing no and, they, they got to fix it themselves yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so uh but then the uh, you know <clears throat> the other guys and of course that were you know driving trucks and stuff like that you know, those five ton trucks some of them were heavier mm -hmm. but uh no, no. The roads are so narrow and stuff like that. And there's just piles of truck crashes running into each other and whatnot and tipping right. over. And, and <laughs> the worst of it is they get how many people riding on top of that truck and making it over weight on the top of it. Hey, it's so yeah. tip over pretty easy. Yeah. I, think, I think he's struggling, you know. Huh? He, I think he's struggling, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, he look, he's struggling. You think he's now, he, he, he got a cookie there, he, cookie, cookie not going from there, you know. That cookie is still in the same place, I think he's struggling. Yeah. I got a plan, bro. I got a plan. You got a plan? Yeah, I'm saving it for later. <laughs> you really better plan good because all them hot dogs going there. Those weenie going, you know. Cookie? I don't eat cookies, man. Uh, you don't eat hot dogs, you don't eat cookies. No. Eat. I'm a veggie, man. <laughs> uh, coming back, coming back. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's how it is here. So, 
many retreat here, many is feasting on their hot dogs and weenie bone, weenie <laughs> and things like that. So they're enjoying it. I'm going in here to see if I can get some Wi-Fi because they give me a connection here, but it's not connecting. So I'm gonna find out here. <clears throat> Getting cool out there, boy. I think something missing I can't get in. Sorry. Nothing's missing. Nothing missing. Let me so, look. look. Are you capitalizing? I capitalize this one. Both of them. Both of them? Mm -hmm. This and that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just the first letter. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, let me see. Bill is one of the people that had the Lytton people come and stay here when the Lytton fires happened. And, and so Bill is um, responsible for a lot of major things that happen around here. And, and Todd and, and his crew uh, that work <coughs> diligently to provide a weekend like this. And so um, Bill Gerber, why don't you, because you've arranged our uh, our speaker, Ed, why don't you give us an, don't hit me anymore. No, no, you got, you got the carcass there. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Put him on a stick. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay. uh, first of all, I think we have a, quite a few more chairs. If Todd or Anson would lead the guys, whoever wants a chair, Maybe we'll just take three minutes. They could run in the lodge, and if you guys want a chair, just run in and grab one, or maybe you guys grab five and haul them out here. You guys are the only one who stands. Everyone here too. How long is it you're speaking for? Ed. <laughs> Ed, how long are you talking for? Yeah. Easy, 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 easy. I think I don't want to say tonight, and you're gonna like it. It's gonna, it's gonna be, you're gonna want to. Put that jacket on there. No, no, it's a moment for you. No, no, put it on. I'm a few more guys, just go and grab an arm load of chairs. Or there goes, they'll take the cart there. So anyway, I'll just say, I'll just say a little bit before they get back here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having now singing. We're gonna sing now when we all get to heaven. This is just for work, okay? So yeah. we're gonna do it in eight. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can now put the voice in the weekend. So that you go. Sing the one or sing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all, when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all. Sing and shout the victory. Come on, brother, sing. The pilgrim party. It's been a while since I've been. It's been a while since Noah's song. Days are over, not a shadow, not a star. When we all get to heaven. Rejoicing that will be when we all when we all see Jesus will sing and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of Him in glory will the cause of every day. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all, when we all see Jesus.
Jesus will sing and shout the victory. Onward to the prize before us, soon his beauty will behold. Soon the pearly gates will open, we shall try the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all, when we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. Amen. Get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. Amen. Story. Our Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, on his precious blood atoning. Then I repented my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He taught me and brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me as I knew it. I'm on my love is to him. Plunge me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about his healing of the cleansing power revealing. How he made a limb to walk again and cause the blind to see and then i cried dear jesus come and heal my broken spirit and somehow jesus came and brought to me the victory oh victory in jesus my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing blood. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story and some sweet day i'll sing up there the song of victory oh victory in jesus my savior forever he sought me and brought me with his redeeming blood he loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath that cleansing flood. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it, folks. Yeah, so, one, one more. We're gonna sing, and we know not they are because, quite honestly, we, I don't know. We're gonna sing one more song. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> we know Folks, not they are. so 
I hope you enjoy this one. Um, let us watch and be ready. He will come. He will come. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He will come in the clouds of his Father's bright glory. No, not the young. There's light for the wise who are seeking salvation. There's truth in the book of the Lord's revelation. It prophecy points to the great consolation. But we know not the young. Come on, dog. He will come. He will come. Let us watch and be ready. He will come. He will come. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He will come in the clouds of the Father's bright glory. We know not the young. Well, watch and we'll pray with our lamps trimmed and burning. We'll walk and we'll wait till the Master's returning. We'll sing and rejoice every moment discerning what we know not the young. He will come, he will come. Let us watch and be ready. He will come, he will come. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He will come in the clouds of his Father's bright glory. But we know not the young. Jesus, look full in his wonderful face. And the things of what will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. <laughs> kind of speech here once but I'll give it again and for those of you that have heard this calling hear it again on a deeper level ask yourself why did you come to men's retreat beyond socializing beyond getting together beyond post-covid gathering what is it about coming to the matters of a man that you want to get from so as I mentioned to everybody else, if I had one request for everybody this weekend, it would be to look inward, to look at yourself, your heart, your spiritual well-being, where you're at, to ask yourself the tough questions, to check in with yourself, to say, how am I doing? And the premise and reason I'm asking you to do that is, is that many people are very busy, but they're not productive. Many people are giving 100% of 10%. And what God is calling us to become and do is to give 100% of 100%. Amen. And as we sang, turn your eyes upon Jesus, I want to remind each one of you that as you look inward and you look at yourself, where is Christ in that picture? Where is he in you? Not where is he in your church, not where is he in your family, where is he in your job, where is he in this world. Where is Christ within you? And as you focus on that this weekend, it's from that epicenter, from that place, that you're able to start to give more to your wives, your children, your careers, your churches, to the world. And that is the call. And that is the matter of a man. 
And so I'll ask you again, as you commit to this weekend, check in with yourself. Look inward. Recognize that everybody's at a different spot, a different season, a different place. And that's okay. You don't have to be where they are and they don't have to be where you are. Because that's why there's different seasons. For different people, for different reasons. As each person is going through their journey, check in. Say hi. Greet somebody. Give what love that you've been given in that day to somebody else. <coughs> Commit to this retreat being a safe space for us as men. A space where you can let your tears out. A space where you can actually check in with yourself and lean into the discomfort of that. Because I can tell you right now that a bulk of you probably haven't checked in with yourselves in a long time. But God is asking you to do that. <clears throat> so that's my request and wish. I'm going to open with prayer, and then I'm going to introduce Bill, who's going to introduce our speaker. <laughs> Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for blessing us with this beautiful camp. Thank you, Father, for blessing us with a time period to come and to just connect with you. An opportunity to dig deeper, to look inward, to have that Holy Spirit indwelling within us tell us the truth of ourselves mm -hmm. to take our weakness and turn them into strengths Father bless Ed as he speaks with us this weekend as he shares with us as he testifies about your strength and your power may we all turn our eyes upon Jesus and may we be stronger day by day for it Amen, Amen.